Hi, this is Chip Wood. In Preview, you can take two or more images of different file sizes and different cropping and connect them to create a consecutive series of images that can be used on your blog or any social media site. Since we're going to align them horizontally, we need to start with the image that is the widest, and that's the Space Needle. Click on the icon in the upper left, scroll to the thumbnail view, click on the thumbnail, and copy it. Command C. Now go to Tools and scroll to Adjust Size. Select inches as the unit of measurement. Unlock the icon. We're going to keep the height, but since we're going to have two more images after this one, we're going to change the width to three times its current value. If you had two photos, you would double the width. If you had four photos, you'd multiply by four, and so on. Right now, the width is 15. So multiply that by three photos and change it to 45. Now you have a really funny looking stretched version of the original image. Remember when we copied the thumbnail? Now we're going to paste it in the area at the far left of the stretched image. Command V. You can still see the stretched image beside the one we just pasted in. Click on the pasted image to bring up the adjustment handles and move it to the left and center it. Now shift select the two remaining picks. Hit command O to open them. Click on the second image and copy it. Go back to your stretched image and click to the right of the first image that you pasted in and paste the second image. Click on it to bring up the adjustment handles and move it into position beside the first image. Now click on the thumbnail of the third image and copy it. We'll do the same thing as before. Paste it to the right of image 2. This is a much larger file, so let's zoom out a bit. Click on the image, grab the adjustment handles, and position it. Click outside the images. However, you'll see that we have some of that stretched photo left over at the far right and now we're going to crop that out. Let's zoom out a little, or hit Command minus, scroll to the top of the image and position the crosshairs at the upper top left of the first photo. Drag the cursor all the way down to the lower right corner of the last photograph. You'll find the crop function in the toolbar, or you can just hit Command K, and that eliminates the leftover stretched photo on the right. The gray area that you see above and below the new image is transparent and will not appear when you upload this new image to the site of your choosing. Now go to File, then Export. This will bring up a pane. It may say PNG. If so, change it to JPEG. Look at your quality. This is a good size. Give the file a name and hit Save. Collapse this window and open the new JPEG that has appeared on your desktop. Sewing has never been easier.